everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today I have a fun video for y'all. It is a ColourPop video. Originally it was an unboxing video. However, I was going through my camera earlier today trying to make room uh, before I filmed another video, video that I filmed earlier today and I accidentally deleted some of the clips thinking I had already imported it onto my computer. So here I am again refilming the video. So it's not the same as a complete unboxing because I legit like unpackaged everything on camera and all that. Um, so that whole wow factor won't be there like I wanted it to. But so yeah, let's just get started because I have a lot of products to show y'all. I ordered like $100 worth of products from them. So let's get started. So first I'll start off with their uh, Super Shock. Uh, cheats. This one is in the shade prenup. I'm really excited about this one. This is the one that I wanted the most. Like, that I was really, really excited about uh, out, of, out of all the cheeks. And I, the texture of these is so weird because when you feel it, it feels like a cream. But then when you apply it, it's like, it applies as a powder, which is weird because you can just magically from your finger to your cheeks turns into powder. Um, and this is just the shade Prenup. And then here's a swatch of it right here. And that's, and that's how all these are. So I was kind of, that was one of the things I was disappointed about because like I knew that they had a weird texture to them. But I didn't know that since it is like that you can't depot them because if you depot them, then they will lose that texture that makes them so special. So you have to keep them in this packaging. Um, and this one is in the shade Fox, and this is just like a nice coral color. And it just looks like this. And then I'll swatch it for y'all right here. I don't know if the cheeks or like the blushes are really going to show up on camera. Those are always the hardest to swatch. Um, so, yeah. And then this one is really pretty. This is the shade Cheerio. This is like, or Cheerio, however you want to say it. This is such a beautiful plum color. Um, hopefully the camera does it justice, but it's like a really nice, just dark mauve color. And it looks like that. Oh, it's so pretty. Like, I can't wait to wear that, even though it is like springtime now. But I'm still, I'm still going to be using these like every single day. Moving on to, let's move on to the lip products. I have quite a few. I have five of them. So let's start off with the lip pencil because I only got one of the lip um, lippy pencils. And they go by lippy pencils and lippy sticks. So I only got one of these. So let's go ahead and swatch this one real quick. And this one is bull chic. Basically bullshit. Uh, um, but they like change it to chic and so it's just a black um, lip liner I know that like I have like black eyeliners I could just use that probably maybe not I don't know but I just wanted a black lip liner and it just looks like that it's super pigmented so yeah just kind of like for like ombre type looks like black on the outside and then like I don't like a bright pink on the inside or something like that like this um like ombre in with all dolled up by Gerard Cosmetics would be really pretty. And then let's see, the next one is this lip primer. It's the lip, Lippy Sticks just primer. It's just a clear thing. I don't know if you can like use this as a moisturizer or as a lip liner. What I'm going to be using it as is like an invisible lip liner, especially for like my Anastasia liquid lipsticks, like the really nude ones, because sometimes it's hard to find a lip liner that matches it exactly, because I noticed that if you use one that's too dark, you can see it, and it just kind of like, I don't know. So I just wanted like a clear one, so I'm, that's what I'm going to be using this for. I haven't used any of these products yet, so. And then this one is in the shade Frida, and then it just looks like this. It's kind of like a pretty like everyday nude color. I'll swatch it for y'all. Right there and it's so pretty they're so pigmented so creamy oh my god 
And then the next one is the shade LBB. This one is a matte, and the first one that I showed y'all was a satin finish. So they either have like a matte finish, a satin finish. Um, I think that's, and I think they have a couple other ones too. I don't know what the other ones are though, but this is the shade LBB. This is just a really pretty like plum color. And I'll swatch it for y'all. And there it is right there and then the last one I am so excited about this one we me and one of my friends we like worship Beyonce and we're always like flawless flawless like that's our life motto stay flawless whatever so this <laughs> lipstick lipstick is called flawless so I bought it I thought I bought the lip pencil but I guess I didn't I think I told myself like whoa Alyssa you need to hold up because this is like kind of like and it's a really pretty unique color. It just looks like this. It's more of like a purple color. It kind of looks similar to LBB, but it's completely different. This one is definitely like a springtime color, while LBB is more of a fall slash winter color. And this is uh right here. <laughs> so you can tell this one's more of a purple flawlesses, and then LBB is more of on the like burgundy burgundy like plumish type uh spectrum of the colors so yeah so that was it for all the lip products so now let's move on to eye products so i'm just going to grab and go i guess um yeah so the first one this one is in the shade shameless these are all the all their uh super shock eyeshadows and shameless just looks like this it was a bit cracked when i got it so I have to be kind of careful, but like with the consistency that they are, I was easily able to like mold it back together. This is like a really pretty like sea green with a uh, uh, blue undertones to it. And just looks like that. I'll swatch it right here. The shade Dare, which is this beautiful bright purple color. I do have a purple eyeshadow uh, tutorial coming very soon. I might feature this in it now that I have this color. And it just looks like this. And this one definitely too has metallic undertones. Like whenever I flash it, it looks kind of blue. But that this is the true color of it right here on my middle finger. So this one is the shade Drift. And this is a really pretty like burgundy color. Oh, I'm so excited for this. This is like a maroon. That's what it is. It's a maroon. And it just looks like this. And then this sh uh, shadow is called Tea Party. This one's really pretty. Um, it's just like a really pretty champagne color. I don't know how well the swatches is going to show up for this one because it's just like a, like a really pretty nude color. It'll be really great for like inner highlight. Um, this one is the shade Slave to Pink. Also another thing which you'll see with these next couple of eyeshadows is you want to be careful when you're putting the top back on because they are like kind of like a creamy type texture. The lid sometimes gets like caught in it so like I kind of like butchered part of the eyeshadow. I don't know if you can see that. But yeah, the, this is the shade Slave to Pink. I'm just going to kind of like try to flatten that out. So I messed it up. And it looks like that. Don't mind the purple. It's such a bright pink color. Like, so this one right here. That one right there. The shade Glow Sticks. Oh my lanta. When you say pigmented, these eyeshadows are like the definition of pigmented. Like, look at how bright this yellow is. Like, look at that, like going to swatch it for y'all. It's like, look at that. So I'm going to de be definitely doing like a spring timey type eye look very soon with these eyeshadows because they're just so crazy pigmented and so beautiful. Like, all right, and then for the last two, this one is the shade Animal, and this is just a really pretty like orange coral type color. Hello, loud neighbors. Gotta love them, right? It just looks like that. 
the Z shade Erotic, which is just like this beautiful bright red color. And it looks like balls. This one definitely has a lot of orange tones to it. And let me swatch it for y'all. My last available hand or finger. And it just looks like that. Hi right, guys, that is it for my little ColourPop haul. I hope y'all all enjoyed this video. If you did, please comment down below. Also, leave any other video suggestions you may have. Also, be sure to subscribe to my channel. And I hope y'all all, all enjoyed this video today. Bye.